Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a makeup tutorial on how I... Where's the Q&A today? I, I, Where's the Q&A today? Where's the Q&A today? Where's the Q&A today? Okay, I get it, but... Where's the Q&A, Judea? Okay, name! Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Black Girls YouTube too, and today I have your question and answer. <laughs> you guys have been on hunt for me like I've been on hunt for Frank Ocean, so I get it. And it's about time I stop procrastinating. But I'm going to be better about these Q&As. I promise, I promise, I promise. I actually have a schedule now. At 2016, we over here popping or whatever. Organized or whatever. All right, so let's get right into it because I have quite a few questions and it's going to take a pretty little minute to get through. First question, where is the Q&A? <laughs> It's here! It's here! It's here! Calm down. <laughs> hey, I was wondering if you didn't do so well freshman year and you're in your sophomore year with normal grades and were to have anywhere between a 2.8 to 3.2 GPA your junior and senior year, would you be able to get into Howard? I didn't do so well freshman year. Um, I, I fell quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit and I pulled it together so you know sophomore year with a 3.0 that's, that's pretty decent um, junior year if you can shoot more towards like the 3.2 that probably be better um, would you still be able to get into Howard yeah the minimum GPA that they take on average is a 2.7 so if you can pull it together and your overall cumulative GPA is 2.7 or greater, you have a decent chance of getting into Howard. Can you do hauls more often when you buy clothes? You have such cute style. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I could do hauls for you guys. Love all of your videos. What would you to say to someone who isn't happy with where they are going into college, like incoming freshmen, because that might be my situation? Okay. Um, you chose a college that you don't want to go to? I'm guessing that's what you are saying to me. Did you do early action or something? Because you shouldn't have a binding agreement to any college at this point. It's too early in the game. Uh, so people who haven't chosen where they're going yet, but you know, you've put in all of your applications and you've gotten a couple of acceptances back, don't go rush into saying yes to one school because you could possibly end up like this person right here, you know? Um, just be careful, take your time, weigh everything, everything. Now if you're bound to this agreement and you have to go to the school freshman year for whatever reason, um, make the best of it, make the best of it. So, uh, after freshman year, I mean freshman year or even your first semester of freshman year, you can transfer. But I wish you the best of luck. Just pray through every day and it actually might be better than you think it is. Um, talk to your parents about this. Talk to your advisor. See if there's not something that can save you. You know what I mean? Like, there are times where I sit at Howard and I'm like, dang, actually, no, there aren't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but that's not true. <laughs> Ooh la la, I said bye, so nuts. I listen. I can't answer this question anymore. Y'all got me in trouble. Make that decision yourselves, cause I can't answer. Where are you from? I am from New York, New York, New York, New York. A lot of people think I'm from down south, apparently because of the way that I talk. I don't know how I talk, so. Mm. <laughs> but I'm from New York. <laughs> what do I do if I don't know how to twerk? Girl, you learn! No, 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 for 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 Because there are a lot of you that don't really know what y'all doing. And then you get to parties and it's clear that you don't know what you're doing. But I'll put it this way. People aren't going to outright judge you if you can't really dance. Like, they'll look, maybe. They might pull out Snapchat, maybe. But... <laughs> People aren't gonna come up to you and be like, what are you doing? You look dumb. Like, it's, it's not like that. If you don't know how to twerk, learn how to whine. Like, like a, what did I say? Like a Jamaican guy. <laughs> All my Jamaican subscribers are gonna be like, you thought. I'm sorry I tried that, I'm sorry. I like to whine. Um, as you know, I'm a very small girl, so twerking is not very easy for me. It makes my back hurt. 
so I like the one. If you can't do that, try to learn like the um, the popular dances at the time. Honestly, you can Billy Rock to any song. And if you don't know how to do all that either, I know I said don't do this and leave this behind in 2015, but you know, look, look cute, look cute. Do the thing where you like bob your head to every song and like you sing all the words. I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, dance. That might work out for you. Does the topic for the essay change every year? If not, to what is it? This is a Howard question. Baby, I don't know. But I will say for any college that you're going to, most likely your essay is going to be like pick a important figure in your life and talk about why they are important to you or it'll be something like um, name a hardship that you went through and how you got over it and what you've gotten and learned from that. Those are like the two essays that I see the most often. So if you can write an essay on one of those two and before your senior year, you got it. And even if that's not Howard's essay, that's a lot of the scholarship essays. So yeah. And then you'll also be able to tweak them and submit them to different scholarships. Like you can use one template <laughs> and form it for all your scholarships. I know you did the admissions and scholarships video, but what scholarships did you get? The Gates Millennium won't be available to me and I doubt I'll get much financial aid, so I'm a bit worried. A lot of people are in your boat, but um, I'll answer the first question that you Asked. The scholarships that I get, I got the Legacy Scholarship, which is no longer available for Howard students coming in. It paid for my tuition and fees, and then um, I got financial aid from the government. Got a grant from my church. I got a grant from a group that I'm in. It's called the uh, Junior Frontiers. That was freshman year, though. Sophomore year, I, in addition to that, I got the BET Scholarship. All right. Next question, will you please do a video all about your chilling and child experience for HU? Y'all want a story time? What happens with Carver? Carver is closed. Why didn't CHS participate in ResFest? Well, College House South is a sophomore dorm, not a freshman dorm. And um, ResFest is more so for freshmen. And is CHN a co-ed dorm? If so, why did all girls do Res Fest? College Hall North is an all-female dorm, all-female freshman dorm. Freshmen do not have co-ed dorms. So why did all girls do Res Fest? Because only girls live there. Uh, how does Res Fest even work? They took up Stroll this year, but Res Fest is like a battle of the dorms and it happens in the springtime and I'm really, really excited for it this year because I get to watch and I know the goddesses of College Hall North are coming to slay. I know my queens are out here doing what they do and I'm here to support. So I'm really excited for Res Fest this year. But like I said, it's Battle of the Dorms, um, freshman dorms, and there are different teams and activities. So there used to be a stroll competition. Stroll is like a mix of stepping and dancing, but you are in a line. And Ace is the first person that calls out what stroll you're doing and uh, Tail is a person that's like all extra and dramatic and makes it look all together. There's a competition, so they have all this. Go look at my um, Raz Fest vlog. Besides that, they have a step competition, they have a dance competition, they have um, field days, which is like outside, there's like track events, all that kind of stuff, it's real fun. Um, they have game night, they have, last year they had something called like once it was like wild out Wednesday something like you know that show with Nick Cannon yeah they did that um you can see it in my rest us blog it's just a really fun time to be competitive but people also get very hatery at that time there's a lot of hateration in the air so <laughs> it's a lot of catty time too but Rest Fest is a fun time. If you're an incoming freshman, that's something to look forward to when you come and when they ask if you know how to step, if you know how to dance, if you know how to say yes, because they're talking about Rest Fest. They just didn't say that yet. Ooh, Rest Fest is also a time to watch your GPA because if you don't step, baby, you're not going to sleep. You're probably not going to eat. May the Lord be with you because he was so enough with me during all my classes last semester. I don't know how I pulled out. I, ooh. 
<clears throat> next question hey guys if you're brand new to my channel my name is black girls youtube 2 and i give all types of tips advice and tricks regarding fashion beauty and education now since today is january 1st you may or may not know that fafsa opened up today so i'm going to do a walkthrough